Yeah, I've been doing the flag ceremony for going on 44 years. Uh, my dad, he met uh, a retired army colonel who owned this property. And when the man wanted to retire, he gave my dad first choice for the property. My dad took it. And when he took over the business, there was a flagpole. And he figured it would be something very wonderful to honor a couple of his best friends that died at Pearl Harbor. And then one particular year, um, we had a woman come in and ask, well, I, I would love to honor my dead husband, but I don't want to turn over the casket flag to you. Is there something we can do? And so that's where we then would fly casket flags of a different veteran in season every single day. And then at the end of the night, the flag is folded and given back to the family. It's a very important thing that the, this man started more than 40 years ago, and it honors, honors dead veterans. Every flag he's ever flown is from the casket of a veteran. And it's, it's, I don't know, it's just a very moving thing and a very wonderful thing he started. I'll tell you, they're all heartbreakers to me. I don't know whether I'm a soft touch guy, I don't know. But when I hand that flag over to the widow, I just can hardly talk. Well, my father takes this very seriously. Um, he once told somebody that his wish is if he passes, he wants to pass at the flagpole. That would be his ultimate dream, if he would die, to die at the flagpole because it means so much to him. I mean, we've watched as children him being so fiercely, you know, patriotic. So now that he has given the reins to my brother, my sister and I, we take it just as seriously as he has taken it all these years. I mean, the flag ceremony can never stop.